Well, welcome back into the Lifetime Activity Center. Dusty Lister and Dane Stewart, third and final game of our triple header tonight. As that shot would not drop for Elijah Kersey. As we'll get our clock started. Butte and Idaho in a Pacific Northwest matchup. I'm just trying to say Butte properly tonight. I'll get a joke in sooner or later. Don't you worry. It's pretty easy to play off of. We'll 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 keep it G-rated though. And we're gonna have a special guest here momentarily. Yeah. As that shot goes down for Chase to Graf and Reed. And it's two nothing. As they send that ball back down and out of bounds off of the Daredevils. As the man himself can come join us, Jackson Johnson. He was grabbing that third chair. He was just all, he's so tall, we gotta have him in the right spot, man. <laughs> But uh, drop the ball inside. But Jackson, man, you get big decisions coming up soon. I do, yeah. How soon? Hopefully next month. So next month. just take my last two officials and then I'll decide a few weeks after. Now the whole the whole world is wondering why did Idaho not make your top? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I grew up in Idaho. I had to, I had to just slip that in there. Um, Jackson, uh, good to see you playing in the top 50. Yeah. Uh, you know, week two. What was it? What was it like for you playing in game two tonight? I mean, it's just it's just good to come out here play against the best competition in the state. It's just fun. You know, these are all some of my good friends, so it's just fun to all be on the same court together. So, yeah, I love it out here. Is that three on the way is good. And knocking that down. Man, these numbers, some of these numbers are hard. That's number 31, I believe, Dutch Dowdell. And, uh, but walk some people through, because not everyone gets to be a high-profile recruit. They know what's like. What is it like trying to make a decision on where you're going to play your college basketball? I mean... You got a lot of factors going in, it's just the coaching staff, the culture, and you know, ultimately like right now for me, it just comes down to get a good education and play at the highest level. And those are the two things that I'm looking for and all four schools that are my top four have that to offer. So, you know, now I just need to take my officials and just do, go wherever my heart tells me. So that's just my plan right now. Top four are to remind the people? Uh, Stanford, USC, Utah, and BYU. It's not a bad top four. No. Especially if you look at the U.S. Newsweek or whatever it is, the big uh, rankings that came out. They're all verified. They're bona fide <laughs> if you watch Old Brother Art Thou. You know, um, Jackson, we'll, we'll slip a little bit into, you know, your senior year coming up. And Alta, I think, you know, was really good two years ago. Last year, you guys finished it with state championship. What's it like coming in? I think you were preseason pick last year in 5A as well. But uh, does it feel any different now that you guys have kind of reached the goal and now you're trying to defend it? Um, as opposed to having the hunger of driving to try to uh, uh, achieve it for the first time. Yeah, sure. I mean, we have a target on our back. Like, every team that comes and plays us, it's it's their Super Bowl. So we just have to, you know, just stick together. And, you know, right now we're just – we're at square one with Coach Orn. He's just – we're shell drill every day, condition, stuff like that. So, I mean, yeah, right now it's just getting our chemistry together. But, yeah, we have a target on our back. So we just have to be us and play who we are, and we'll be fine. I haven't got a chance to see the schedule come out yet as uh, another nice take and make there for uh, Gavin Lowe. But uh, did anybody get Coach Horn to get uh, Coach Lunt together and let's get the Corner Canyon Alta game going? December 5th, baby. At Corner. It's big time. We'll be there. It's big time. Rob Gertzen will be there. We're there. <laughs> we don't have to fight with anybody else for that game. I'm already I'm, marking it down. I'm excited. Bring the rivalry back. So Yeah, Vince, put it down. December 5th. It's good for Draper. Write that down. <laughs> Remember that then. So, <laughs> well, that's awesome because you and Brody, I mean, that would be, I mean, just elite yeah. stuff. Yeah, I mean, me and Brody are best friends, so just being able to compete. We haven't comp played against each other for a long time, so we have it marked on our calendar <laughs> circle. We're ready to play each other. The question is, do you guys want, are you guys tag teaming or trying to decide? Because you'll have very similar Final Fours. Is that on purpose? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens. He's he's taking his fish. I'm taking my fish. We're going down to BYU on Thursday together. And then, uh, you know, I'm sure we'll talk about it before we commit. But, yeah, definitely would have interest playing with each other. You know, I, I saw you after your game tonight. You went over and gave a big hug, hug to uh, Jamin Sundrup. What is it like? Because Jamin, he's a couple years younger than you. But I think he's got a, a similar you know, ceiling. He, he's got a lot of room to grow, and he can be a real special player when his time is done. What is it like to be able to play, even though it's in you know the top 50, but to play with players of that caliber on the same team and to be able to engage? What, what is that like for you? 
I mean, I, he played with Prospect Summer, so I know him a little bit. But yeah, I mean, he's he's a hooper. Played him in state last year, and you know, like you said, he has the ceiling. Is, he's gonna be as good as he wants to be. So you know, I'm I'm excited to see what happens to him, and you know, he's a good kid. So uh, I'm excited for him. That three good there for Stephen Praise, your point guard out there running the show there, Ace Riser. And uh, all right, so let's let's talk about Utah top, top fifty. You know, Dane asked you earlier, but how much fun is it to? I know you talk about playing the best players in the state. Is Jordy? We'll talk with Jordy Barnes later tonight. Committed to Utah State, but just what's it like to be part of this? I know you talk about being on the floor. But what's uh -huh. it like to get selected to Utah top fifty? When that means? Uh, I mean, it's it's fun. I mean, like I said earlier, I mean we've all played against each other. Our, growing up so it's it's kind of just like old memories coming back if that makes sense like you know we on the floor with like Tate Bowman and we're just able to talk about our AU time together but you know like it's just good competition good get ready for the season so yeah it's it's a good league for like I said get ready for the season I don't know if the if the guys told you or not but you know what the final week is right uh -oh. We're gonna play at the Delta Center oh, you're gonna play on the floor that's big time yeah right let's Isn't go. That awesome let's go <laughs> That's just between the three of us, though. No one else knows that. So. <laughs> you know, uh, we've talked a little bit just about the the flow of playing the top 50 being very different. Obviously, you know, fouls very different, um, but, but even just the flow. What what is it like? How different is it to play in this game as opposed to varsity, which does have a little more structure to it? And what what what's the difference like as a player? Uh, like I said, like you go play varsity basketball and like you're gonna run sets. Here you don't run sets, but you know everyone's unselfish. So it's it's like just playing pickup with dudes that can play. Like you're never gonna have a dude that's just ISO in all game. So it's 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 good basketball. It's not yeah, it's not you come here and you're getting better for sure. So what you're saying, guys like me wouldn't qualify for the <laughs> top 50. That, that's what you're saying. I don't know. I, uh, you could. No, I, no, I, that's what you're saying. I you, think you could. I think you could get out there. The most unique rotation you've ever seen on a ball. We <laughs> call it the round the world rotation. Yeah. His ball spins sideways. <laughs> it's awesome. I had to practice it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jackson, man, hey, we appreciate your time. We want you to go enjoy watching the yeah. game, but uh, good to see you tonight. We're excited because yeah. we know you weren't here week one. Uh -huh. I'm excited to walk in the building as well. All right, we got some star power going to show up tonight. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you having me. It's it's fun being out here. I love it. Awesome, man. Hey, we we'll look forward to see you. Uh, nothing else. December 5th, at least. We're going to see a lot of your games. Oh, yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay. You better be. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be there. Good to see you, buddy. Thanks, Jackson. Thanks, Jackson. There's a lot of action happening in here as uh, Ace Riser can't get that one to go. What a fun kid. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's, that's the thing that I think a lot of times, high school sports, there's so much passion behind it, right? Your community, your school, your alma maters. And uh, sometimes you just don't realize like they're humans right and you get to talk to them you see some of the personality come out and it's just always fun that's what i love right is you get uh -huh. to engage and just see like some of the just just learn who they are yeah right? well, like they're, they're not these distant individuals that don't you know care don't have feelings like it's it's just fun it's just fun well, to see personalities well, you kind of think well I'll put all this pressure on myself or whatever else or him and brody could have a bit of a rivalry or whatever it's like no we're best friends yeah and i had it just dawned on me they had the exact same top four when he said it i was like wait that's the same top four and because even i don't know if you saw but before this game started sundrup is down in the corner he comes up and gives him a big old bear hug from behind so i asked the question yeah right? because it's like look we talk about springville how good that program has been and jamin obviously a special player and you know what's it like to be able to play with that kid as opposed to against him and it is just interesting the brotherhood that exists in sports because even you go to a high school football game and you see the same thing right afterwards players from opposing teams yeah they just competed knocked each other around for 45 minutes but then they go hug right and yeah. it's chatty and um, it, it's just cool to see kind of that that brotherhood that exists in sports that sometimes we we don't get to call out or, or talk about unless you watch the tom brady interview with uh bet david I don't know if you watched that or not. I'll send you a link. I'm uh, watching it right now. It's actually really good. That or, was the clip that went around, but I didn't have friends on other teams. Well, or, or if you're MJ, <laughs> right? Because he took that personally. Yes, or Dion. They made it personal. They went I, I just made wish it. Pat McAfee would get it straight. He keeps saying a coach from Utah. It wasn't the coach from Utah. It was George Carl. They said have a good dinner tonight. Yeah. As, the shot As a did Sonic not drop. fan, I do know that. As I wouldn't drop up the floor now, Ace Riser. But uh, he and Brody being a package uh, package deal is kind of an interesting. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't expect well, that to come out of his mouth. He didn't say package, but he did say we'll talk. Yeah, as I'm saying, like the po the possibility. Because I don't think they play on each other's corner. 
as we should I focus more here, but I just wanted to recap that interview. Yeah, oh. it was a good tidbit. As that does not go into the hands of Beatty. For some reason, our uh, alarm went off, but our horn went off. Kersey hangs, gives it to Beatty, left hand, and Paul Beatty lays that one in. And it's now a two point game. The scoreboard and I have been off a little bit. Yeah, Kevin Benefit Dow, I was trying to run scoreboard and talk to Jackson at the same time, but yeah. I thought it already was 2022. There, there have been some fights between Dusty and the scoreboard tonight. Well, now I'm on it. We're even. Three doesn't go, rebound to the future ag. Jordy Barnes, he'd reopened his recruitment. And then reclosed and it. Then, yeah, reclosed it. He, he was committed to Utah State as of last year. He, during the summer, opened had a coaching change, it. right? Yeah. Coaching change at Utah State. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And he just said, hey, I just want to look at my options. Utah State's still on the radar. And this week, recommitted to to the Aggies. So. Yeah, just yesterday. Yeah. So check out, we're going to be doing uh, post games. We're going to do recaps of the night that we'll put on social media and everything else. And imagine we'll have Jordy for just a minute. I mean, that's a nice matchup there. You've got Jordy and uh, Riser going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Of course, they'll be both in 5A this year. In same uh, region. Yeah, I put that ball on the opposite side, and Riser with the steal. Uh, that's going to be fun. Two matchups there. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful reverse and finish here from Landon Shaw. 24-20. Kersey stuck in the lane. Fortunate not to have a, when we were here in at a top 50 showcase, you don't call three seconds on that. But Barnes couldn't get it, rebound pulled away, go back up strong, couldn't get it. Hanging with it is Gaddis, and Gaddis gets the plus one, and it's a one point game. That's a nice job sticking with it underneath Grayson, another Highland Ram. They've got multiples of them here in the top 50. We saw the youth that they had a couple years ago, and man, that's aging. And aging well. And a three good in the corner. Three was there for Dresden Jensen. He, he had, had a great week one. Yes, he did. He's got a new coach at Beaumont as well. Who took that one? I'm trying to remember. Um, I know I just put you on the spot. Yeah. Uh, I'll get we'll that We'll find it. You. Three yep. on the way is good by Bryce Mella. A man out of Mountain View High School. And again, a one-point game. Mountain View's had some good three-point shooters in the school's history. That shot goes out of bounds. Taylor Russell, one of the first guys we remember in our coverage, but 2007. Travis Hansen. Coach Gardner. Yep. Who coached Taylor Russell. Travis Frey. Frey or Frey? F-R-E-Y. F-R-E-Y. Oh, okay. Travis Frey. So send that ball outside. Oh, Gaddis has that one poked out of his hand. Shaw sends it ahead to Riser. Beautifully done between Shaw and Riser. Yeah, so hard to keep Riser at bay. You see the run out there, able to take advantage. Well done. Mella could not complete that step through shot. Riser, transition three, and ace. Finds the bottom of the net. So good. That kid, I mean, it's crazy to think that he's finally a senior. Just tells you how fast it all goes by. And a little floater on the baseline is there for Jackson Soto. A Riser can't get it. Rebound to Gaddis. Now on the run with Kersey. Mella with the defenders there. Mella. How about that finish? Get it to go. That's a nice soft touch, and you've got a lot of momentum carrying you that direction with the closeout that's coming. It's a beautiful job by Mella. Uh, Chase to Graffenry. He thought he might have a beat on that block. As that three is good from Dresden Jensen. I think that was Soto, wasn't it? Wasn't that 21? No, 41. No. Yep, my bad. I was looking at the wrong uniform. <laughs> Kersey. Hangs back rimmed. And the rebound claimed by Riser. And that one taken away by Grayson Gaddis. Soto has that one taken away by Ace Riser. Ace is foul. That'll put him at the line, shooting one for two.
What a fun night. This is game three of three. We'll have three more. Well, five more on Thursday. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to start the women and the girls top 50. So that'll be Thursday evening. You can catch that right here on kslsports.com. Every, every other week. Uh, not quite. Not quite? Yeah. We'll go October uh, 12th and 19th. 12th and 19th, okay. Oh, and my then, gosh, it's already October after the weekend. It's that yeah, crazy, huh? Cursey right down the lane. Good grief. Of course, Mother Nature agreeing. Those of us who are going to be out on Friday night will be seeing temperatures in the 60s. And finally, football weather. Meanwhile, some are going to be in the equivalence of the Kibbe Dome. Nice and indoors and temperature controlled. Ah, it's about 66 degrees. <laughs> You'll need your igloo. <laughs> we will need my igloo. <laughs> my Lone Peak igloo. <laughs> Step back for three. Would not go. Oh, Ooh, did he keep it? No. Oh, he, yes, did. he did. Yes, he said he saved it off his foot. Yeah, that was got us again. That's he's, a Carbon County special. He's been all over tonight. <laughs> Brad Williams, a graduate. Well after me. Junction extended. Oh, would not drop from Mella in the rebound. Taken by DeGraff and Reed. You talking Mr. Official? Yeah. Okay. You made a reference to that earlier, and I was like, what? Who? <laughs> I got you now. Yeah, I played for Kyle at Carbon High School. As Jackson Taylor couldn't get that one. Beatty can't get that to drop either as DeGraff and Reed clears the board. To Graffenried to the rim and finishes it. It's a nice burst for the Salem Hills Hawk. Skyhawk. Yeah, Skyhawk, thank you. I'm not going to make the mistake. To Land Hawk. He's not related to anybody. <laughs> Come back the other way. Whoa, to the rim, can't finish. Mm. That transition three did not fall for Brad Easton. Low left alone. Settling for a lot of threes. Yeah. Nice That's block. That's because it's all closed down as DeGraff read the block on Mella. It'll be inbound along the baseline. Both teams got some short benches. Oh, nice job working off the ball. Kersey and the Box Elder B gets that one to go. Box Elder got a big football game this week. Yes, they do. A lot on the line in that one. Taking on Bountiful. Maybe not as big as Manti and Richfield, but it's right there. <laughs> Might have the same stakes. Pretty close, that's, actually. That's not as in the meat. <laughs> Not a lot of butchers up in Box I was, just, I was just hearing about the new eating fat. At, you know, that locally sourced honey and meat, things like that. Yeah. You know that one? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. You looked like you knew. I was like, how about that? No. Is that one short off the inbound? There's a former NFL lineman that has dropped like 80 pounds doing it. Hmm. Former Cardinal. Your former center, A.Q. Shipley. Yeah. That was that was that was before I was gifted the team. Yeah. <laughs> okay. A former Cardinal. You know. Yeah. 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 Inside of 45 seconds left. I recognized it. Apparently, Dane knows. Oh, I was out of bounds. Yeah. Ace. He and Zeke Wilson both did the same thing. That short corner. Yeah. Final 30 here. Been a fun first half. Go back and re-listen to that Jackson Johnson interview. Didn't want to press Jackson too much for some recruiting news, but he gave us some tidbits. And also a recruiting, uh, scheduling tidbit that I I almost came out of my seat for. Yeah. Yeah, Dusty's, it, it was more a question trying to get an answer. Dusty didn't realize he was going to get an I answer. I didn't expect an answer. <laughs> <laughs> Step back three is going to be short. And that'll do it for the first half. 
We go to the second half. It's 39-34. Stampede lead the Daredevils. You're watching the Utah Top 50 on KSLSports.com and the Rewind Sports Network. So we'll start the second half. Dusty Litster and Dane Stewart with you. As the three good from Gaddis. Good week two from Gaddis. Yeah, no kidding. And it's been more than just scoring. We talked some, about some of the hustle plays he's had. As uh, here comes Idaho, Dusty. <laughs> the Gaddis in Idaho. Oh, yeah. the Stampede. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. I keep forgetting because I just call them by their the non-state name, the mascot. Yeah. I know. There's other places I only go with the location. Is that three is good from Mella. And it's a daredevil lead. And here we have Idaho. <laughs> That's the state song, by the Especially way. That's the state song. That's here, a good here comes slogan. Idaho. And here we have Idaho. Oh, here we have Idaho. Yeah. I like yeah. that. Utah is better and brighter. Utah. Is a <laughs> Look at the run here. How My goodness. That? And that was uh, Soto with the finish, I believe. 21. And that three is good from Ace Riser. When you need a play, it's always nice when you have an ace in the hand, huh? Mm, better than two in the bushel. You know, I actually read an interesting comment on that today, but it's not related, so we'll skip oh, that. Okay. Yeah. One yeah. of the best college team calls of all time. Better than two in the hands and one in the bushel. <laughs> uh. That does not go as Ace Riser. With the board and a chance to put the stampede ahead once again. He and Jordy Barnes, good battle. Send over to Lowe. Lowe sends out to the corner. Three on the way from Shaw. No. Tipped out. Ends up in the hands of Riser. Ace down the lane. Couldn't get mm. it to go. Gets his own board. Sends out to Dresden Jensen. He can't get it. Beatty clears the board. Contact maybe came up high on Gaddis. How about this deal? Stolen by Lowe. Shaw float it and score it. Boy, can only give so many opportunities there. And a great job by Butte keeping the pressure on there by the Daredevils. It will eventually come away with points on the possession. And that is good that there is by Jordy. Jordy Barnes. Yeah. Utah State's got a good one. I like Jordy. I do too. I like Jordy. And the best thing about Jordy. The jury doesn't demand a lot of things. He's willing to be whatever your team needs him to be. Think back to some of the really good Utah State point guards, like when yeah. you were there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you think about like, and I don't know how much Utah State you watched, but like Bernard Rock was kind of that. Yeah, way, I was going to say Bernard Rock. Where it was like, you know, can get guys going, can also take advantage of his yeah, speed, the little left handedism. Point guard ended up being like 29 before he left. I'm not being facetious. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. I can't think of his name. Yeah. I, I know who was it. But he didn't. Pack? David Pack? Might be David Pack. A little lefty. Yeah. Black hair. Yeah. Yeah. I can just hear Al Lewis. And Pack down the lane. <laughs> <laughs> and he scores. <laughs> that was a foul. That was a foul. My favorite was doing those games back in the day on. A station that no longer exists and I would be uh, I had to cut sound and listen to Al yell at the officials when they were standing at the table well, now in fairness to Al that is a lot of local broadcast I do, I'm not even mock, knocking yeah. it I'm just saying yeah. that I'll never forget listening to it and it was <laughs> so we, we've got a good friend on the Rewind Sports Network JT yes who's got an opportunity congratulations JT don't be like that no, yeah just find your way get close to it you don't have to <laughs> Stand on that line. And again, that's not an Al thing. There's a lot of yes. there's a lot of guys. Now we've never had the opportunity of just being. A, and even though we do games for on the Rewind Sports Network, we still keep it pretty medium. I mean, it's all the inside shop. Man, look layup. at that! I don't know if he got the hand on that. It got over the rim or what? And Beatty with a nice block. You know, I I I have it to a small effect right now, and it is hard. It is yeah, hard. It, it is, is hard. hard to walk that line. And anyway, yeah, because it takes a little bit of the pizzazz on the yeah the opposite team getting yep. their play. Yep. But you don't want to be the you know. But you also know who writes the check, yeah. right? Yeah, and and who's asking you to do it and get you know, yeah. But we've, I think we found a pretty good balance to that. Yeah. Let's 
So 15 minutes left here. Three on the way and rattled home. Nice hit. Mella. Mella. Yeah. Bruins had himself a nice game. And Butte takes a one-point lead. I think that was Idaho. Idaho takes. No, oh, it was Butte, Butte's white. 47-46 is Jordy down the lane. Idaho's white. Jordy Barnes is on Idaho. Well, everyone's got them all backwards. I'll get it fixed here in momentarily. <laughs> The kids kept switching it on us. And this that one doesn't go, and the Beatty takes that rebound or the loose ball. DeGraffenry trying to back it down, just missed it. Jordy, oh, beautiful. Oh, Jordy hit one from about six feet beyond the arc last week. That one just a mere two or three, but that's a college line. Jordy continues to shoot well here at Salt Lake Community College. Scoreboard's updated. We'll get the score updated here momentarily. Boy, right off the head of Shaw. Unfortunate bounce. Pump fake by Kersey there. Beatty looking for range. Well, we got some collapsible chairs that have been collapsed. Oh, they went down. So come back the other way. Dresden Jensen finds the graph and read. Fortunately, no nachos or drinks were lost <laughs> in that collision. I'm going to start wearing a park at the arena. <laughs> Set that out. There's three. I like the kick out thought there. Yeah. Just missed it. Can you believe I saw on, well, I shouldn't believe anything on the internet that I was this day years old that I learned that Jordan, Jordan Gordon Levitt, Joseph Gordon Levitt is a kid from Angels in the Outfield. I was like, incredulous. <laughs> How do you not know that? I don't know. I was like, what's worse, that or the whole thing went around like Instagram about if you take, only in 2020, in 2023, if you take the year you were born and your age, go match. <laughs> that was a big thing on social media for a while. Okay. When people fall into the, the, the reels and the ticky talkers have all the answers. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> what a thought. <laughs> hey, by the way. <laughs> yeah. MCMLXXXII. Bam. 1982 Roman numerals. MCMLXXXII, 1982. All right. Jordy Barnes can't get that one to go. It's a good year. <laughs> it's a good year. The rebound there by Cameron Wilson out of Park City. Cross court, Dresden Jensen. Back rims a three. And Jordy Barnes clears the rebound. Of course, we're in the year of MMXXIII. And somebody's been working on the Roman numerals. Set out to Beatty. Three from Jackson Taylor won't go. Tipped out by Riser, taken by Dresden Jensen. Very important to understand in reporting. Roman numerals, you use them all the oh, time. Okay, I was like, wow. I'm teasing, you don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can't trust anything you say. Dresden Jensen. <laughs> he continues to flash some long range from III. It's three in Roman numerals. Down the lane, Kersey, mm. no. That's a tough shot. Rice. Oh, race, Took on the whole Reiser, defense, my man. goodness. And just the way that it finishes adds a little flair to it, too. Three on the way, Taylor, no, just cannot get it going tonight. 
as the putback won't go for Easton. Rebounded to Graf and Reed. After that play, Riser might qualify as a member of the Miami Dolphins, just leaving defenders <laughs> behind him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if there were defenders even to start. Three on the way, Dresden Jensen. How many threes did he hit tonight? A bunch. And that's now 53-52 as the Daredevils take the lead and a timeout taken by the Stampede. Been beautiful shooting from the Daredevils Devils tonight. Man, Dane's on it tonight. All right, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. You're watching the Utah Top 50. 9.30 left here. And our... Game three of our triple header as Kersey gets inside the defense and lays it in. There you go, boy. He had a difficult shot one or two possessions ago. That one does a nice job of working his way around. Back to that right hand right at the rim. Dresden Jensen goes base. Oh, a nice job. Moved out the basketball Ooh. and just couldn't complete it there for Cameron Wilson. And we'll come back the other way. Just Jordy Barnes gives that one up. Gaddis back to Jordy. Barnes working on riser and scores. How about that? Boy, you don't see Jordy Barnes be super aggressive with the basketball. And against Ace Riser, I was interested if we were going to get some of that tonight. There you go. Jordy able to back him down. Ace Riser back rims the three. And Barnes with the board. And how where was Gaddis there to pull his hands back? Yep, my teammate. Same color. So I'm to throw that inside and Wilson with the steal. And Riser, mm. ooh, lipped out. Boy, he doesn't miss that shot often. Mm, wide channel basketball oh. failed him. Oh, there's a steal. Good hands there by LaPrey out of Timpanogos. Sends out to Riser. Oh. oh, now Wilson with the flush. Oh, that was pretty. That's a find there by Ace. What vision. He just snapped that one off. Kersey. Barnes, the extra pass to Gaddis for three. That's a nice little one-timer there from Jordy. Able to send that out. And Gaddis drills it. I ever tell you about the, the Packer game I went to in 2013 when Jordy Nelson was still on the Packers in his heyday. And there's this woman that skips saying, get the ball to Jordy. I think that every time that Jordy Barnes has the ball, like, just get the ball to Jordy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good recipe. It was a good recipe and still is today. So time out on the floor. We'll be right back. Low has that one stripped away by Soto. Now a little foul from behind on Gaddis. Dresden Jensen. Oh, I thought for a second they were leaving him yeah. alone. They, uh, that's yeah. not a good decision. <laughs> <laughs> that is low. Can't get that one. Shaw couldn't get the board. And a rebound to Gaddis. Now on the run with Kersey. Kersey yep. to Gaddis and the foul to low. Well, that's great recognition by Gaddis, right? I mean, you had the mismatch get rid of the basketball you run to where the open space is and draws the contact so Jackson Taylor will trigger in in the Soto left hand no no and the rebound take it away that was aggressive close out there by LaPrey oh nice hands by Kersey and the box elder B denied at the rim but it's gonna be goaltending and the points awarded the Stampede and extends their lead to six. So here's low. Curse you oh. for the steal. Soto got it. Oh, and low took it back. LaPrey. To Graf and Reed, back to LaPrey in the corner. Got the three. Boy, good ball movement, unselfish play there. From the Daredevils, LaPrey able to drill it. 
Soto down the lane. No. Rebounded Graffin Reed. Boy, look at how empty that was rushing back. And oh, good defense. I'm going to say Kersey slapped the ball. And it'll go back to the Stampede. Boy, it looked like DeGraffenried was going to be all alone. No one really got back. And Kersey was really kind of last line of defense, able to get a clean swipe at it. Good play. I got the Carmelone swipe and the ball. Now he just needs to do it with one hand kind of on the back of his head. A little <laughs> extended chicken wing there for show. Oh, those are good days. <laughs> <laughs> Dresden <laughs> Jensen <laughs> couldn't get it. Looking down the floor to three on the way and good from Easton. Brad Easton out of Brighton, the junior. Low, three doesn't go. And the board and run out. Mella with a nice move to Soto. Oh, back to Mella, lays it in. Man, we see some good ball movement. Yeah, yeah, very unselfish play. Really on both sides. Speaking of. LaPre with the flyby. Short on the triple. Gets his own rebound. Oh, he tried to go with the extra pass and taken away. Yeah, but maybe, a little, maybe a little too much flash there from the Daredevils. Beatty out to Soto. Maybe a little too daring. <laughs> a little too daring. Far too daring. Here comes Low. Back with Easton. And Easton going to draw the foul. A little bright and Oli action. Football this week. Yeah? Right? Brighton Olympus? I no, Brighton right. Alta. Brighton Alta. Right, right. We have that one on the Rewind Sports Network. The Alex Napolis on the call on that one. It's not Napolis? Napolis? I'll call him whatever I want to call him. <laughs> I told him. Okay, I'm like, I've, I've heard you Napolis, say Napolis. It is Napolis. Now. All right, but all I say right. Napolis whenever. I just want to see if he'll correct me. He's so nice, he won't. Yeah. Well, if you ever, if you ever called me Stewart, we'd have a conversation. <laughs> Then Mella continues his terrific second half. Hey, I got call Lister all the time. He just rolled it. That's true. That's and, true. And oh, nice there by Reiser. And it's a seven point game. Well, pardon me, they cut it at five. Hmm. So 68, 63, oh. and Ace Reiser with the pick. And the layup. And now a one possession game. Apologize for the scoreboard mishaps. Sometimes the scoreboard doesn't update on the click. You want to talk about guys that just know how to flip a switch when their team needs them? Ace rise. That is ace. Easton, 4-3. Oh. <laughs> Big time three there from Bradley Easton. You know, I had an out-of-state coach of one of the best programs in the country tell me that he's scared of Utah teams because we shoot it too well. As Reiser back rims the three. And this is a big-time program. Yeah. And, he, and after that game, I was like, what would you think? He's like, I won't do it again. And they, <laughs> last year, they came to the state and played another out-of-state team. He's like, that was insane. As a three from Soto. And the Stampede push it back up to nine. Boy, just when you thought the Daredevils had him reeled back in. A couple made threes. It's... Once again, back to almost double digits. Lepre couldn't get loose. Give it back to Low. Low goes at Soto. And if you get that low, you got to know you're going to go with the ball. Yep. <laughs> the clock running under two minutes. Dresden Jensen. Turn around and got blocked. How about Easton making some plays down the stretch? Yeah, big plays late. Three short. Oh, we need quiet during the backswing. <laughs> quiet. <laughs> Dresden Jensen. Short. Jordy Barnes to the board. Sends out to Mella. Mella can be all by himself, and he'll throw it home. Mella having a good night. Yeah, he did. He's been consistent, really started off this second half with a couple of big made 
shots, some nice defensive plays as well. Jensen cleared some space and then sent it out to low. To Graf and Reed off on the triple. Jordy Barnes, oh, taken away by DeGraff and Reed. Try to Jason Williams pass. Low, wide left. You can just kind of tell that the legs may be failing here late on some of those mm -hmm. long threes. Never waste a failing. As uh, our final score, Idaho Stampede 76, the Butte Daredevil 65, Dane, your thoughts and a selection of a top 50 player of the game. Yeah, back and forth game. Again, it was interesting in the matchup, Barnes versus Riser. Ace continued to just look really strong on both ends of the floor. Did everything he could to keep the Daredevils in it. But uh, Idaho, big shots made late. Uh, I'm going to go with Easton as our player of the game. I thought he made some of those big plays to help Idaho create the final separation and lift the stampede to victory. Right, congratulations, Brad Easton, being our top 50 player of the game. Again, our final score, that of Stampede 76, the Butte Daredevils 65. We'll be back on Thursday. Girls Top 50 right here on Rewind Sports Network on kslsports.com. For Vince Francis and Dane Stewart, I'm Dusty Lister. Thanks for joining us and for watching KSL Sports Rewind's coverage of the 2023 Utah Top 50 on kslsports.com and the Rewind Sports Network.